what's up guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing good as always so i'm sure you've all heard mccart released their new birds of paradise collection today so i'm gonna do a quick little unboxing they did also send me over some long stiletto nail tips which i was really excited for and there's also a poly gel kit in this collection a nail art set and they did also send me another new release of theirs, which are these long coffin nail tips. I didn't use these today, but I will in another video. They look really nice. There's also a six piece gel polish set in this collection as well. I really didn't know what to expect with this collection, but I really do love it. And I really love the whole like tropical vibe. I just love how they like just give you a whole vibe every time they release something new so yeah this is a gel polish set comes with six colors and they're all eight milliliter bottles the colors in that set are just so gorgeous and like pigmented i'll be showing you some swatches and a few right now i'm just like unboxing so this is the little nail art set it comes with a bunch of glitters and a little bit of nail charms you get a little bit of everything the glitter mixes in this are so gorgeous i just love the colors and everything like that the little feathers it's so my vibe it also does come with like some little nail stickers with birds and feathers when i seen these feathers i just knew what kind of set i wanted to do i've been wanting to do like a native american inspired set since i'm part native american and, but I can never like think of how I wanted to do it but once I seen this set like the whole idea just came in my head and I was like yeah I know what I'm doing like as soon as I seen those feathers the colored ones like it just inspired me I just love the way the set that I created with this kit turned out so yeah this is actually the poly gel kit love the packaging on this as well they always always just do it with the packaging for me so yeah in the poly gel kit you do get a little set of instructions and a thank you card you also get a 100 180 grit nail file and a gel brush it's a poly gel brush with the gel brush on one side the scraper tool on the other as always you also do get an eight milliliter base gel and a top gel and one is white one is black so you can tell the difference you also get four different color poly gels in this kit and they are 15 milliliter i'll be showing the swatches of those as well you get some dual forms and some nail art in this poly gel kit as well it's pretty much the same nail art that is in like the nail art set um it's the same stickers and just like two of the same like nail art and these are the swatches aren't these colors so freaking gorgeous the first six are the gel polishes and the last four are the poly gels so yeah you guys should definitely check out this kit make sure you check the description box for my 15 percent off discount code because once again they killed it so jumping into the tutorial as always i'm going to begin by applying my dehydrator and primer as you can see i applied the stiletto tips off camera i just love how long they are i've been looking for some long stiletto tips for like ever it feels like these are like perfect i barely had to like shape them up all i did was just go over like the tips of them with a 180 standing band and just like shape up the sides just a little bit but really i didn't have to do much it was like so easy I'll definitely be using these. The only reason I haven't been doing like stiletto is because um, the tips that I normally use have a C curve on them. So I don't know, it's kind of hard to like cut them into stiletto. I don't know. But yeah, I'd rather just get them pre-shaped. It saves like way, way more time than just like trying to do it yourself. So yeah, I'm going in with a layer of the base gel to prep the nails to give that poly gel something to grip onto. I did cure that layer for 60 seconds and now I'm doing the base on all of the nails. I'm using every single color from the poly gel kit and I'm randomly placing a small bead of each color on the nail. The yellow one, I accidentally left it near my lamp and I guess a chunk of it got cured, but I didn't realize it till I got <laughs> to the middle fingernail, but I ended up removing it afterwards. But yeah, I'm just applying a small bead of those and I'm not going to swirl these together like I normally do with my marbles. What I'm just going to do is just like pat them in place and kind of like brush them down the nail. Almost kind of like a tie dye with poly gel. But here's the thing, it's going to be a feathered tie dye. And what I mean by that is I'm going to make these colors look feathered. 
so you'll see what I mean in a minute because the whole like theme is like you know feathers like the whole Native American thing so I don't know how I came up with that but I did and I'm just like totally obsessed so yeah um, I'm patting the poly gel in place as you can see I clearly put like too much on some of the nails but hey it's all right so I just removed some of it and some of the colors are going to get a little sheer when you brush them out but since I'm going over them with like some of the gel polishes from this collection it doesn't really matter because they're going to end up like super pigmented anyways just to get some like color on the nails or whatever to have like that base and like certain colors like peeking through in the background because the gel polishes didn't really have yellow or orange so i wanted like those type of colors in the background you'll see what i mean in a minute so i actually was using alcohol as a slip solution but i ended up using like some of the base gel um, because i like the way um the poly gel applied it applied really smooth with the base gels as you can see i'm just like patting them in place not really swirling them just kind of like brushing them into each other not like mixing the colors to where they're gonna look like one big like marble thing if you know what i mean it's more like a tie-dye where you could see each individual color And now I'm going to be taking three gel polishes from the gel polish set. I'm using the magenta shade called Toucan, that like teal shade called Peach Face, and that like lilac-ish type shade called Mandarin. And I'm placing a very small amount of those on the nail. And I'm dipping my brush into some isopropyl alcohol, wiping it off, and then like kind of going in like a back and forth motion on the nail brushing over the colors like very fast to give it that like feathered kind of look if you know what i mean but i'm not like covering up what i put on underneath i'm kind of just like sharing it out over that as you can see it kind of gives it that like feathered kind of look if you see what i'm saying but yeah i feel like it went really good as a background for the feathered stickers that i decided to use so yeah these are the feathered stickers that I decided to go in with you just want to be careful where you place them you don't want to place like the pink feather on top of like the pink area on your nail because then the colors will clash so do like opposite colors if you have a pink area on your nail put a blue feather or if you have a blue area on your nail put a pink feather or a purple feather so that they'll stand out more and they won't get lost in the colors if if you see what I'm saying so yeah, for these, all you got to do is use some tweezers and peel them off and stick them on your nail. You don't need to apply a top coat or anything over these. They're like little nail decals so the color won't bleed or anything. But yeah, they're just like so cute. I love the feathers on here. They're just so beautiful. And they go like amazing with that background like base for all of the nails. So after I do that, I'm going to apply some base gel to the ring finger because I wanted this to be like an accent nail. And I'm going to be placing those little gold feathers. I'm going to be encapsulating them and placing them into the gel and curing them. Um, because these type of like nail charms, they do tend to like where if you put them on top of your nails i feel like you can top coat them if you wanted to do that but i just like to encapsulate them because the color lasts longer so in between the feathers i'm going in with some of that like colorful little glitter and at first um i put like too much so i did remove some of it because i didn't want it to be like overbearing i just wanted little hints of glitter so i'm using that one in that blue iridescent glitter just a little bit of that like in between the feathers just to make it look nice and sparkly and after that I'm going to cure the nails for 60 seconds.
Now that the nails are cured, I'm gonna be taking this nude pink shade. This is not actually from this collection, but this is a nude pink shade from the McCart Seasonal Concertos Poly Gel Kit. It's just a nude pink. I mean, if you have nude pink poly gel, you could use any one, it really doesn't matter. Any nude shade will be fine. I'm gonna be using that to do an ombre. I just wanted to do like that ombre type of vibe with these, I don't know. I just felt like it looked really cute. So yeah, you could either do that or just do that whole design on the entire nail, whatever you prefer. But I wanted to do an ombre. So I'm taking this nude shade. It's number 1605 from the McCart Seasonal Concertos Poly Gel Kit. I'm placing a small bead of it just near like the cuticle area. And I'm patting it in place. I'm using base gel. And I'm just fading it down right there into the tip very lightly as you can see it doesn't have to be like perfect just enough to cover up that nail bed area so you can't really see like your natural nail um, I just prefer the way it looks with like something over it so yeah I'm going to do that for all the nails and then cure once again for 60 seconds before I go to encapsulate Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and encapsulate the nails. I actually ran out of my McCart Clear Poly Gel, which I'm really sad about. I actually do need to go ahead and place another order for that today. Yeah, I just ran out of it, so I had to use what I already have. This is a clear from the 2B Glam Poly Gel Kit. I'm not too much of a fan of this type of clear poly gel i mean it is okay it's clear but just the consistency is like that in between poly gel and builder gel it feels like so it's kind of like it doesn't like really apply like poly gel it's a little bit difficult it kind of like sticks to your brush but if you put a little bit of base gel on it it works okay it did get the job done but i prefer mccart clear poly gel over that one if i did have to choose but yeah, this got the job done. So basically, I applied how much I needed onto the nail. I just squeeze it out and apply a little bit of the base gel and pat it in place. Kind of trying not too much to like pat really hard. Kind of just like floating and patting at the same time since it's kind of like a little weird consistency. I don't know how to explain it, but as you can see, it's not like normal poly gel would apply. How it's like firm, you know? But yeah, I'm doing two nails at a time just so that I have enough time to clean around the cuticles and I'll be like flash curing and then doing the other two nails. Thank you. 
Okay, so to shape up the nails, I'm using a 180 sanding band for this set since they are stiletto nails and I didn't really want to use anything like too powerful because I didn't want to take off too much product. Stilettos are like a lot, you know, thinner than, you know, a tapered square or a coffin or whatever. So I'm just using a 180 sanding band and that worked fine. I'm just like going around the cuticles, smoothing over the nail as always and filing underneath the nail just to make sure like no poly gel got stuck under there or anything. Also do go like along the sides just to tighten them up as much as I can before I go in with my hand file. I'll also be um, like going around the cuticle with my cuticle bit just to seal around the cuticle and clean up around that area. Everything I use for like nail prep and everything is linked in my Amazon store. So if you're like curious about that, like what kind of primers and everything I use, you can find that under my Amazon store. So yeah, everything should be linked down below and anything else that I'm using, like my dust collector and all that.
Next, I'm gonna take the hand file from the kit and just go in and shape up the nails a little bit. Like I said, these tips don't require that much shaping, just like a little bit just to tighten up the shape, but really I didn't have to do much work because they come pre-shaped. That's what I really love about them. So I'm taking the hand file and for stiletto, you're gonna wanna angle your file and just file in the tip until you're satisfied with like how narrow the tip is. Some people like their stilettos super sharp. Some like them in the middle and some like them more like rounded. Um, I kind of did mine in the middle today. Sometimes I like to do them super sharp. For this set, I didn't want them like really sharp. So I would say they were like in the middle. I kind of like rounded off the tip just a little bit so they weren't super pointy and I was like stabbing myself. I notice a lot of times when I make my stilettos super sharp, I always end up poking a hole in like my shirt or whatever. So yeah, I wasn't on that vibe today. So I kind of like rounded off the tips so that didn't happen. I don't know if any of you guys can relate, but yeah, that happens to me a lot when I have stilettos, which is the one thing that I hate, but I really do love the shape. So by rounding off the tip a little bit, um, you have less of a chance of doing that. And after I file the nails, I'm going to buff them. To finish everything up, I'm just going to go in with my top coat. I'm top coating the underside of the nails as well. And I'm also going to apply some of those AB rhinestones that came in the nail art set. Those stones are so gorgeous. I'm going to be applying them going across the nail on the ring finger. I'm using like a bunch of different colors. And then I'm using the peachy pink colored ones on the rest of the nails by the cuticle. I'm literally obsessed with those like peach ones. They're so pretty. I've never seen like the peach AB like little rhinestones. They're just so gorgeous and they really remind me of like spring. This whole set is like a vibe. I'm like like literally like just I love it. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments. I would really like to hear what you guys think also let me know what you think about this collection is it something that you would pick up i'm really feeling it i like how different it is i'm digging the whole tropical vibe but yeah let me know i like hearing what you guys think as well and as always if you guys are new to my channel make sure you subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell because sometimes youtube doesn't really notify people when i post a video but yeah, I post nail tutorials and reviews every week, so definitely don't want to miss out on that. And make sure you follow me on Instagram because I usually post about my upcoming videos on there. And yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you guys.